Would your customers drive an hour to come to your restaurant? Hey, my name is Michael Tebow, recovering restaurant owner, caterer, turned author, speaker, coach, owner of DFI Marketing Systems, serving the independent restaurant community since 2008, getting you more new customers and getting your existing customers to come back more often, spending more, helping you create your dream restaurant. And thank you so much for turning in to this week's edition of Mike's Money Making Minutes. And that's the question I want you to ask yourself while you're standing in your restaurant, would your customers be willing to drive an hour to come to your restaurant? You really need to ask yourself that question because you need to have three things all humming, working together in your restaurant to create that dining, memorable dining experience that's going to drive customers back into your restaurant and attract more new customers through your review sites. Uh, so I'm going to tell you what those three things are, uh, but I'm going to tell you a little story first. And I'm shooting this video and telling you about this because this past weekend, uh, one of my favorite restaurants, if not my favorite, is an hour away from us. And I took a group of people and we drove out there this weekend uh, to have dinner at that restaurant. And it's over an hour away. And it's uh, we're shoot I'm shooting this video. It's January in Michigan. And it's pretty freaking cold. Okay. And it was dark and rainy. Not really the nicest time that you want to go out. Uh, so why would I get in a car, pick up all these people, and haul out an hour away to just to go to a restaurant? Right? And it's one of my favorites. And I love going there, you know, no matter what time of the year it is. And that's what I want you to think about. Does your restaurant measure up to your customers' expectations where they're going to get in a car, get off their couch in a nice, warm, comfy house uh, and drive to your restaurant no matter how far it is away? Now, we know the majority of customers come within a five-mile radius of your restaurant. So what do you need to do to get people past that five-mile radius, okay? Because those are really... The, we say the longer people drive, the more committed they are and the better relationship you have with those people and how successful you're going to be this year with your business depends on how strong your relationship is with your customers, your guests. Okay, so what are those three things that drive me to that restaurant an hour away and what is going to help pack your restaurant from customers all over your immediate area well number one it's the food right that's the heart of the restaurant is the kitchen the menu the food you got to have good food no one's going to drive an hour away for crappy food that's just not going to happen right this place has awesome food okay uh and they have one-sided menu oh my goodness eight and a half by 14 on legal paper and guess what they don't have 340 menu items Okay, and everything they do is really, really good. Now they, they don't have like a massive variety, but they have enough, enough for everybody to enjoy something. And they do a really good job with their appetizers and their desserts. One of the reasons I do go there uh, is because they have this awesome, they make their own pickles and they serve it in a mason jar and they serve it with like this grilled garlic, uh, really heavy, it's almost like a soda bread um, appetizer. And Oh, it's so good. And I got, I got, you know, every once in a while you just got to have it, right? So I'm making the hour drive. But they also do this oatmeal pie for dessert with this homemade cinnamon butter pecan ice cream. Oh, man, it's to die for. It's super good. And all their entrees are, you know, very, very good. You can always tell. And when I take people, I go, somebody back in that kitchen loves making food for other people you can tell they care because the quality is there and they use fresh ingredients that do not come out of a box or go into a microwave okay so you, number one is make sure you have all those qualities for food number two is service now i don't know anybody there personally but every time i go there we have awesome service never have to wait for the bill we never have to wait to have the uh plates cleared um they're all extremely knowledgeable because they don't have to memorize an encyclopedia menu right they if you have any questions they do do a couple of specials and the staff does an awesome job they're very friendly very personable uh, i love the experience that the staff creates inside the restaurant okay so first is food second is service 
The third thing that you have to have to get your customers to drive an hour to come to your restaurant is your atmosphere. Okay, so I want you to stand in the middle of your empty restaurant and see what the atmosphere is, right? What's the feeling? What's the vibe? Get some people that you know, haven't been in your restaurant before and ask them, hey, what's the vibe in here? What's the atmosphere? This place, ugh, okay, it's in a very small town, right? There's one traffic light. It's a one traffic light town. Um, and the atmosphere, it's a white building built in the 1800s. It's an old uh, horse stable that they converted over. And it is absolutely gorgeous. But you get that feeling you know, uh, very country, which it's out in the country. Uh, there ain't nothing around it except a bunch of horse farms, right? Um, and it's very small downtown area. But they did it very tastefully. There's a beautiful painting of a horse uh, on the wall. They got all kinds of memorabilia from the horse farm. There's lots of uh, uh, his, historical items and memorabilia on the walls. Done very tastefully. And the wooden floors is beautiful oak plank floor oh it's gorgeous just gorgeous massive fireplace and it seats like 400 so it's a big place but they decorated it up so nice for the holidays uh they they do those dining igloos and they're not just some you know plastic tent that they throw up it's really a substantial igloo and they decorate each one individually with different themes they had narnia theme they had uh, the uh, vacation movie <laughs> theme. Um, you know, they had a Dr. Seuss theme. All different kinds of themes in these individual dining igloos. And it was like 9.30 at night on a Sunday. They were all booked. They were all packed. I had a hard time getting a reservation, right? And this is after the holidays. And then when you walk in, you walk up the stairs. They got a nice size deck outside. Obviously, that's where, you know, they put the igloos. Um, but they had a, a big big sleigh you know obviously you know it was probably a horse-drawn sleigh that was in use at one time but they decorated it up for uh the holidays and they had the beautiful lights leading up to it and they decorated all the bushes i mean people were taking selfies and shooting videos everywhere and inside they were you know doing videos and we did we took in front of the fireplace because they had it decorated up so beautifully so it was all about the atmosphere that was created but i tell you if they didn't have those three things the food the service and the atmosphere i probably wouldn't have driven an hour to get there so that's what i want you to think about in uh your restaurant look at your food look at the quality of your food how big is your menu right? Does someone back in the kitchen creating the food, do they really love food? And do they care? Do they care as much as you do um, about serving your customers? And how's the service? Do you hire nice people? Are they treating your customers the way you want uh, your customers to be treated? And number three is the atmosphere. Ask people around you, especially new customers, what type of feeling they get inside your restaurant. Stand inside your empty restaurant. I used to do that all the time with my restaurant and see what kind of feeling you get uh, for the atmosphere that you're creating for your customers. If you do those things combined with great direct response marketing, you will be successful, I promise you. And that's what I want for you for this year to be successful, have a better year and create that dream restaurant. Thank you so much for listening. And if you do me a favor, if you like what I've said here today, um, you can head over to our website, dfymarketingsystems.com uh, and check out, there's all types of free resources, videos, podcasts, uh, there's review scorecards that are interactive. There's all types of uh, things that will help you do a better job with your restaurant and help get you more new customers. But subscribe. Become part of the DFY family. You can just hit that subscribe button. Come on. I know you like it. I know you like hitting subscribe. And we'll let you know anytime we put out a new money-making video, podcast, um, we'd be very appreciative to have you part of the DFY family. Thank you so much. Hope you have a fantastic week, and I will see you on the other side.